The remarkable power of human instinct must never be underestimated. The extraordinary tale of Minvert Kummer serves as a true testament to this truth. In the heart of his shift at a Philadelphia, Pennsylvania gas station in November 2015, his intuition faced a substantial trial. When he spotted a woman trembling with fear at the counter, he sprang into action immediately, instructing her to stand behind him. Irrespective of one's profession, the challenges of night shifts are undeniable. Nonetheless, for Kummer, the night seemed to be proceeding smoothly as he embarked on his overnight duties on November 11, 2015. He held the position of a clerk at an Exxon gas station nestled in the bustling Port Richmond region of Philadelphia. Unexpectedly, Comber's evening took an unforeseen turn when two patrons entered the convenience store attached to the station. The gas station featured a comprehensive network of CCTV cameras, providing maximum security. Surveillance footage captured the entrance of a man and a woman into the store from their vehicle. Intriguingly, upon entering, the man extended a friendly wave in Comer's direction. Proceeding to the left of the entrance, they made their way to an ATM. Despite their efforts, the pair encountered complications while attempting to withdraw cash. Consequently, they sought Comer's assistance at the counter. The man proceeded to purchase cigarettes using the woman's credit card before departing the store. Despite the ostensibly routine transaction, the clerk harbored a sense that all was not as it appeared. In a November 2015 interview with ABC news station WPVI-TV, Comer openly shared his perspective on the situation, revealing that he was actively looking for signs of distress. With his suspicions heightened, the clerk noticed another detail that set off alarm bells in his mind. The woman at the counter was visibly trembling and fearful. The security footage clearly captured the woman a few steps behind the man as they exited the store. Swift and decisive, Comer sprang into action. Leaving his post, he rushed to intercept the woman, halting her in her tracks at the entrance. Stay behind me, Comer instructed her as he recounted to WPVI-TV. I've got your back. Comer adeptly positioned himself between the two individuals, displaying immense courage as he confronted the man outside the store. However, the situation escalated when the moment was captured on CCTV. The footage revealed a suspicious movement as the man reached into his jacket pocket, implying he might be armed. Moments later, he retreated to his car and swiftly departed, leaving the woman behind. The woman made a harrowing claim that earlier that day, she had been forcibly abducted from a parking lot near Pennsylvania Hospital, where she held a prestigious position as a doctor. Her account demanded serious attention and thorough investigation to ensure her safety and pursue justice for any wrongs she may have endured. The alleged kidnapper, Nathaniel Rodriguez, reportedly brandished a firearm before coercing her into her vehicle. Subsequently, they traversed the city, extracting funds from the woman's bank account. Unfortunately, the doctor encountered an unexpected obstacle while using the ATM at the gas station. Their debit card had surpassed its daily cash limit, resulting in the encounter with Comer. During his standoff with Rodriguez, the clerk supposedly demanded the woman's phone and car keys, after which Rodriguez absconded in her Honda. However, his escape was short-lived. Upon leaving the gas station with his companion, Rodriguez discreetly activated the doctor's cell phone. Unbeknownst to him, the police managed to trace his location through the phone signal. In due time, they apprehended both individuals. Following an extensive inquiry, authorities formally charged Rodriguez with a slew of grave offenses, including aggravated assault, carjacking, kidnapping, and robbery. The evidence against him is robust and builds a compelling case. Rest assured, justice will be served as he faces the legal consequences of his actions. However, this wasn't Rodriguez's initial brush with the law. A week prior, he faced charges for pilfering items from Pennsylvania Hospital. Rodriguez's case took an unexpected twist when he received a summons to appear before a federal grand jury in January 2016. This sudden turn added a captivating dimension to an already complex legal process, leaving everyone in a state of heightened anticipation. During this hearing, it was revealed that he had abducted another woman on November 6, 2015, while she was on her way to Pennsylvania Hospital. 
Upon discovering her lack of funds, he directed her to two ATMs, withdrawing a total of $400. Following this horrifying incident, reports indicate that Rodriguez swiftly left the scene by hailing a taxi. As a result, he now faces serious federal charges for abducting two innocent women, a grave offense that carries the potential for a life sentence upon conviction. Even after confessing guilt to the federal kidnapping charges in July 2016, Rodriguez's fate remains uncertain. While a plea was entered, the prosecution has emphasized the possibility of a life imprisonment sentence. Comer's actions during the November 2015 gas station incident did not go unnoticed. In the aftermath of Rodriguez's dramatic escape attempt, Comer showed compassion to the doctor, offering her a soothing bottle of water to calm her nerves. He then promptly alerted the authorities, ensuring appropriate measures were taken. Despite the ordeal leaving her shaken, the doctor emerged physically unharmed. At the same time, Comer was hailed a hero for confronting Rodriguez, thus ending the doctor's harrowing experience. When ABC News shared the news story on U2 on November 13, 2015, it garnered an overwhelmingly positive response. The video titled Gas Station Clerk Aids in Hawking Alleged Kidnapping has amassed over 1.4 million views and more than 3K likes since then. Comer's actions received abundant praise in the comments section from diverse online users. User Mitch L. highlighted the life-saving potential of trusting one's instincts, a sentiment echoed by user Van Lee. The latter commended Comer for his courageous defense of the doctor, even at his own risk. Incredible. He is a hero, she wrote, underscoring his willingness to put himself in harm's way to preserve another life. John Doe enthusiastically echoed agreement with that specific comment. He wholeheartedly endorsed the sentiment, asserting, absolutely, Comer is. Heroes don't always require uniforms or capes. Clearly, John recognizes the extraordinary qualities embodied by Comer, emphasizing that heroism goes beyond conventional molds and can be exhibited by ordinary individuals who conquer fear to protect others. John Doe eloquently captures the essence of heroism in his closing remark. True heroes emerge when individuals display courage and step forward to shield the vulnerable during moments of peril. Their selfless act of placing themselves between danger and those in need embodies their unwavering courage and commendable character. November 11, 2015, forever marked a memorable day for Manveer Comer. As a couple approached his gas station counter, an internal intuition signaled potential danger. His instincts kicked in, alerting him to potential harm. Through quick thinking, he managed to thwart what turned out to be a kidnapping attempt, demonstrating remarkable bravery that will be celebrated for years to come.